If you want to learn how to make these red velvet cupcakes with a vanilla bean cream cheese frosting that is so incredibly light, perfectly tangy, you guys are going to love this recipe. The cupcake itself is super fluffy and incredibly moist. And what's great about this recipe is that you don't need a mixer, you just need a whisk and two bowls and you're good to go. This recipe is the recipe that I used when I was the executive pastry chef at Sugar Factory and everybody loved these red velvet cupcakes. They would sell out. Let's get sell. started. In a large bowl, you're going to add your AP flour, your cornstarch, your sugar, your cocoa powder, your baking soda, your baking powder, your salt, and you are going to give all of this a really good whisk. Just And we just wanna ensure that all the baking soda and the baking powder and salt, everything is really well blended in together. And we are going to set this aside and let's get started with our wet ingredients. In a bowl, add your egg and your egg yolk you're going to add your neutral oil and melted butter. You're going to add water and buttermilk, your vanilla extract, your red food coloring, and, and you're going to give this mixture a really good whisk. Look at that bright red color. It's so beautiful. Um, and you just want to ensure that your egg is fully combined and everything is um, fully combined. So now we're going to get the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and we're going to give this a good whisk. Um, and the reason why I use a bowl and I don't use a mixer is that when you're creating a cake, you want the crumb to be very tender and moist. And the more you work your batter, the more gluten forms. And then that's how, um, you know, cakes tend to be drier and more dense. So just ensure that everything's combined and i'm going to use my quarter cup measure i'm going to fill the cupcake liners up um, three quarters of the way through and um, i'm going to heat my oven up to 350 and i'm going to bake this from anywhere from 18 to 22 minutes and you just want to ensure that when you stick a cake tester or a toothpick that no crumbs come out. So let's get started with vanilla cream cheese frosting. That is so yummy. We are going to stick our burst softened butter and our vanilla bean paste. And we're going to give this a mix for about a minute and a half just so that everything's combined. And I'm using a handheld mixer and now i'm gonna throw in my cream cheese and i'm gonna mix that on like medium low speed as well and i could give this a minute um or two minutes i i'm just looking for everything to be fully combined and you don't want to overwork your cream cheese so you know two minutes being max and now i'm going to add my powdered sugar and what I like to do is to grab a rubber spatula and I like to just kind of fold it through because if I use the mixer, it's just going to overwork the batter. Um, so by doing this with the rubber spatula, it will give the mixer less time to incorporate all the sugar and you don't overwork your batter. Um, and that's how you don't get it to be super soupy. Um, so now I just give it a really light pass just to ensure everything is um, blended appropriately and um, I'm ready to go. I mean, this texture is what you want. It's really light and it's not that like super stiff um, cream cheese frosting that sometimes you get somewhere. Like I want it to sort of melt in my mouth, but also holds hold its shape nicely. So 
We are now ready to pipe our cupcakes once they're done cooling down. Um, so I'm gonna fill a pastry bag with an 808 tip and um, I am kind of gonna do three swirls um, because that's just what I like for red velvet um, cupcakes. Um, and then also this cream cheese frosting is just really light. It can handle that much um, cream cheese frosting because I'm all about balance too when it comes to, you know, cupcakes i just hate it when it has like so much frosting and the frosting is super sugary it's not nice <laughs> so i'm doing three loops around and i'm just starting in the center and then following the guide just going around and you know once i go up that one tier i'm gonna do a smaller loop and then the smallest loop and I'm just gonna flick it to the side and I'm gonna follow this same pattern and pipe all my cupcakes and for decoration I'm doing red non pareils um, just because I love red and I want to highlight that it's a red velvet cupcake get a little festive guys a little sprinkled <laughs> goes a long way <laughs> um, so this is how the cupcakes end up looking. They are so cute. I mean, it's the perfect amount of frosting. It's such a tender, moist cake. I mean, look at it, it's glistening. It's saying, eat me. Let's dig into this cupcake. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so good. It's incredibly soft and super moist the perfect amount of cocoa powder in the cupcake and then the cream cheese frosting like perfectly melts in your mouth and it's not this stiff cupcake it's incredibly creamy so delicious guys try this cupcake out and then let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys have any questions about how to bake this or troubleshoot any of the recipes i'm here for you guys um, and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time